My pet peeve in going behind mechanics that don't know what in the hell they're doing. Hey, good morning, more Medic One. Today I've got a uh, Kawasaki engine on the bench that's not charging the battery, and uh, this particular unit's not in my quadrant for repairs, but uh, the mechanic is off on vacation that works on this side of the uh, of our campuses and uh, basically when I pulled up the previous ticket it says that it wasn't it wouldn't run because the uh, battery was dead and the work that was done was uh, he replaced the stator the voltage regulator and still not charging the battery his fix was to install one of these onboard battery chargers that you just plug into the wall and he and he just told the customer said I, I I don't know what's wrong with it but you'll just have to plug it in when you get done using it to charge the battery but I want y'all to look at this area right here and uh, you, tell me what you think's wrong because I know what's wrong with it and I'm fixing to show you I'm going to crank this engine up and I'm going to show you that it's not charging right now the battery is at 12.09 I've got my voltmeter hooked to the battery positive on the regulator and, I'm, and I'm to a ground. Let me get it started. The battery is at 1187 after starting it, but watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this screwdriver and I'm going to arc over from the regulator to ground. This thing is idling and it's charging fine. The ground strap is missing. Watch what happens when I take the, my screwdriver away. It falls on its face. I'm gonna give it some more RPM and I'm gonna do it again. I don't recommend doing this too many times because you could actually uh, create a voltage spike and blow out your regulator. But this is plastic. This regulator mounts into plastic. You've got, it's got to be grounded. So whoever worked on this left the ground strap off from here to here, or actually I think it goes to the start. I went ahead and made me a ground strap out of a piece of uh, primary wire. I think it's 14 gauge. I'm just going to put it to this lug, then I'm going to put it over here and put it underneath this starter bolt. <clears throat> Let's get this one tightened down. Mm. Give the. Be careful with these screws because they will strip out. Let's go ahead and give it a crank and see what we accomplish. 